Hi, let's see how to fix the Rujinx crashing on the Steam Deck. As a gaming enthusiast, you may have experienced the Rujinx crashing on your Steam Deck. This can be quite frustrating, especially if you are looking forward to enjoying your favorite Nintendo Switch games on the device. Don't worry, there are some certain ways to address the issue <laughs> and get back to playing your games seamlessly. So let's see how to fix the Rojinx crashing on the Steam Deck. The first method is update the Rojinx and the Steam OS. Prevent the Rojinx from crashing on your Steam Deck. Ensure you have the latest version of the Rojinx and the OS. In order to do that, hold on the volume button and press the power button. The Steam Deck should boot into BIOS menu. Use the D-pad and A button, navigate to the setup utility, navigate to system firmware. Check firmware updates and install them. Restart the your Steam Deck to apply the update. Open your Steam OS and check the available updates. Update the Rujinx by visiting the official website. Replace your existing Rujinx installation with the latest version of the new version. Restart your Steam Deck to apply all the changes. The second method is verify the game compatibility. Some games may not be compatible with the Rujinx. Visit the Rujinx compatibility list and search for your game. If your game is not listed in the, as compatibility, Try a different game or wait for the future updates. Adjusting the TDP settings. Make sure to adjust the TDP settings in your Steam Deck when you are unable to run the Rujinx without crashing in the Steam Deck. Hold on the volume plus. Press the power button simultaneously. Steam Deck should boot into BIOS mode. Use the D-pad and E button. Navigate to the setup utility. Navigate to the power and performance. Adjust the TDP slider to find the balance between performance and stability. Test Rojinx with the new settings. The fourth method is increase the swap size. Increasing the swap size on the Steam Deck can also help in fixing the issue with the Rojinx. Open the Steam menu, select power and choose the switch to restart. Click the Steam Deck icon, look for the console in the application list. Tap, click on console, open the Console nail on Steam Deck. Run the command. Resize the swap file by entering this particular command. Update the FS tab to make sure the new swap size is permanent. The fifth method is enable the logging for the debugging. If the issue persists, enable logging into and do the debugging to fix the issue with the running routing. Hold on the volume button and then press the power button simultaneously. The Steam Deck should boot into BIOS menu. Update the D pad. And a button and navigate to the setup utility. Open the regions, enable the login, and select login. Select log categories. Save the settings and restart the regions. Analyze the log output to identify the possible issues. The sixth method is contact the support for the Steam Deck. If you have tried all the troubleshooting methods and if you're still facing the problem, you can contact the Steam Deck support team for further assistance. They are the expertise, they will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.